Today we have this interesting question right here. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 100. XY is equal to 18. And we have to find the value of X minus Y. Pretty interesting question. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try first. Are you done? Now let's begin. From this second equation right here, we can make any of the variables the subject and then replace that right in this equation. So if we make Y the subject, we will have y is equal to 18 divided by x and we can go ahead and then replace this y by 18 divided by x and then keep on going but i'm not going to use this method because there is more easier approach than this let's check it out we know from an algebraic identity that if we have a minus b all squared if we expand this one we're going to have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and of course if we relate the right hand side to what we have here we have a squared x squared plus b squared plus y squared so it means we can find something out of this one and of course we are looking for x minus y a minus b this equation will really help us solve it more quickly we can rewrite our problem in such a way that we will have x minus y all squared which is equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy what is x squared plus y squared we have it right from this equation which is 100 what is xy we also have it here so you see pretty simple let's keep the left hand side we have x minus y all squared is equal to this whole thing will give us 100 from this equation so i'm gonna put it down minus 2 times xy which is 18 here then we can simplify this further 100 minus 2 times 18 is just 36 100 minus 36 is 64 then the left hand side as always we have x minus y squared and here will also be x minus y squared remember we are looking for x minus y we have it here by just that we have four squared therefore let's get rid of the square by taking square root on each side of the equation and as always plus or minus is very very important straight away this square and this will go on the left hand side we are left with just x minus y which is equal to square root of 64 is nothing but eight but remember we have plus or minus there. So ladies and gentlemen, x minus y is equal to 8 or x minus y is equal to negative 8, just like that. So we have two solutions for x minus y plus or minus 8. So guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you found the video useful. Please don't just go. Give me a thumbs up. I really need that. It's very important. And don't forget to subscribe. That is also important to me. Share to your friends and see you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.